53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up uh, 150 for 33 hours. Now, each mission has a ETA or estimated time of arrival. This will display different cues on the HUD so you can get to your destination on time. And that is one of the most important parts of navigation. The ICP has a sequence of numbers from 1 through 9 and we'll cover them on a different tutorial but right now you just need to know that for navigation you can use your number 5 or number 4 STP or CROSS C -R -U -S. so right now this is the default screen on your DED and you're gonna hit number 5 CROSS and now I will display this. It has just different information like the system, destination, TOS, the ETA, and your required speed to get to that destination on time. Right now the numbers are very messed up. It's saying 1749 and the time over steer point is 919. But because I've been telling you how to do it, that's how those numbers are so wrong. So, here if you go back to your ICP, this is how you work it. You have this main switch to cycle through the sub modes. So, if you go here to sequence, you can see that your DED will change. And you can cycle through the sub modes of option number five C R U S. And once again we'll talk about those in a different tutorial. Now if you go back out and to your left knee, you will see your briefing book. Here he's telling you the speeds, the times and all the information that you need to know about your mission. You have, like I showed you before, your call sign and your package element. It will tell you how many planes are in your mission in your package. You show you your waypoints. It will tell you where to land, where to take off, where to engage your enemy and if you look right here it's telling you the numbers is your steer point the first set of numbers is the time that you're supposed to be there then you can see the heading then your speed and if you zoom out you see your altitude and the distance so you can find all that information right there on your left knee and if you work with your DED and your knee they will you will know how to get into your destination on time now to get out of that mode that you were in before you will go back to the selector switch and hit return now you're back to the default screen every time you go into any of the modes you will not be able to get out of, out of them until you hit return again. So that's the switch. And here we go again. Now let me show you a little bit about the HUD and how to get on time to your steer point. Let's talk about your timing cue. So we're going to go to the 3D view so you can see better. You have your default mode. You're going to go into number 5, CRUS. And you will go now to M select or number 0 right there. And click it. As soon as you click it, this queue will appear in your HUD. That kind of sideways V. 
and it is climbing on your HUD right now. That is your timing cue. So you will keep that next to your airspeed indicator to get to your destination on time. If you speed up, you see the cue going down, it means that you are too fast. If it's below your airspeed indicator, and if it is above, it means that you're going too slow. So you're not going to make your steer point on time. So right now you're just going to accelerate and it's very sensitive. So you just try to keep it center right there, 267, 268. So apparently the speed should be around 270. So pull back your joystick and there it is right in front of your airspeed indicator. And that's it my friends. That's all you need to know about navigation. Your next tutorial will be air to air radar modes. Thanks for watching and fly safe.